Yumika Kia. Do you know that in 2015, there's going to be a big change in the world of cars? Hydrogen stations and fuel cell vehicles are going to bring about a revolutionary change. Everyone knows about the major problem of global warming. One of the causes of global warming is carbon dioxide. What do you think is needed to reduce carbon dioxide emissions? The answer is we have to stop burning fossil fuels. This thinking led to the fuel cell vehicle or FCV. The FCV is a car that runs on a motor powered by electricity, which is generated through the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen. It emits only water and absolutely no exhaust gas, and its energy efficiency is more than double that of conventional cars, making it the ultimate eco car. But to increase the number of the FCV, we need facilities like gas stations to fill the fuel cell vehicle with the hydrogen it needs. This is why we need the hydrogen stations. It takes about three minutes to fill up the tank with hydrogen. The FCV can travel over 500 kilometers on this. That's no different from a car running on gasoline. An advantage of hydrogen is that it can be produced from various raw materials like petroleum and city gas. Studies are also underway for the future production of hydrogen from water using solar power, wind power, or other forms of natural energy. That's really eco-friendly. At the hydrogen station, hydrogen is compressed and stored in high-pressure tanks. You know, we have this image of hydrogen leaking out and filling a building and then exploding. How safe is the station? At the station, multiple safety precautions are taken based on the key principles of never leaking hydrogen, never letting the building become filled with hydrogen if it ever leaks out, and never letting hydrogen ignite. Hydrogen is a powerful option to address global warming and provides us with a future where our limited energy sources are used in a clean and efficient manner. Foreign and domestic automakers will begin marketing fuel cell vehicles in 2015. And in preparation for this, hydrogen suppliers are now beginning to build hydrogen stations. Progress has also been made in the deregulation process thanks to long years of testing that have verified its safety. Hydrogen stations can now be built next to conventional gasoline stations, and it's expected that the number of hydrogen stations will steadily increase. The same situation exists in foreign countries, such as Germany and the United States. By 2015, there will be about 100 hydrogen stations in Japan, focusing on the four major metropolitan areas, and this number will increase in the following years. The popularity of fuel cell vehicles is also sure to grow in line with these developments. It's now just around the corner. Cars in a society fueled by clean energy, hydrogen. <laughs>